I, and I, I think that's probably the biggest problem is that Urban Meyer has said a lot, but he hasn't really said anything. Um, he's apologized, but he apologizes for being too willing to give a, a misguided employee a second chance. He's apologized to Courtney Smith finally, but he says there was no domestic violence. It, it, the thing that struck me the most today and that is so discouraging is that Urban Meyer still doesn't understand domestic violence. He still doesn't, uh, doesn't understand what happened here. And so therefore he doesn't understand what he did wrong. And if he doesn't understand what he did wrong in this case, how can we trust that he's going to know to do differently and do better, do the right thing going forward? We can't. I, I think because it, there's no credible explanation. And, you know, Urban basically said today at his news conference, well, trust me, except that's the same consideration that he won't even give Courtney Smith. And, you know, if you look at what happened with the text messages, he claims that he never had that conversation with his, his staff member. Well, the Ohio State investigators found that he did and said that he did and said that, that Urban had asked about the possibility of deleting text messages. Um, could the media get a hold of them? There is no reasonable explanation for why those questions would have been asked on that day, which was the day that it was reported that there were text messages between Shelly Smith and, or Shelly Meyer and Courtney Smith. Why then, why that day did he have those conversations? And Urban's only explanation was that didn't happen, except Ohio State investigators say that it did. And that to me is a question that, you know, it, it it leaves so many more questions and he refuses to or declines to answer them and just basically says, trust me. His legacy at this point is wholly dependent upon which fan base you are. Uh, if you're an Ohio State fan, you're gonna buy what Urban Meyer said and not think that he did anything wrong. Um, and you're gonna be thrilled to see him back on the field because the rest of the Big Ten has imploded. And so there's a very clear path for Ohio State to the uh, college football playoff. But if you are, don't have anything invested in the Buckeyes, and, and there are some Ohio State fans who are like this too, you're going to look at this and say, there's something about this that does not seem right. There are questions that still haven't been answered, and I'm not sure that I believe Urban Meyer. Um, but that is, you know, it's not going to change what happened at Ohio State. It's not going to change the minds of the administrators at Ohio State because Urban Meyer wins football games, and that, unfortunately, is the bottom line.